All right, back at Minnesota Community Pride Day at the State Fair with In Commons. Randy, thanks for joining us. Who are you, you yeah. who do you represent? Uh, what does your organization do? I'm here on behalf of my wife, Jeannie, this, this morning. She's a collaborative coordinator in Glenwood, and she wasn't able to attend, so I'm happy to be here in her stead and representing Glenwood and Beyond. Glenwood and Beyond is a uh, volunteer organization of uh, individuals of all ages, all walks of life, that help to assess and, uh, and make improvements in the quality of life for Glenwood residents and, and uh, its visitors. What are some of the specific uh, things that, that, that it's able to do for Glenwood residents? Following a, a design team visit, uh, Minnesota's design team in, in 2005, they, they constructed a uh, pocket park. It was one of the first projects in 2006 on our main street and uh, vastly improved the, the look of the, of the space, a, a green area. Uh, helps with water flow into our Lake Minnewaska as well. There have been some uh, playground equipment projects as well. And uh, our biggest project to date is a, a lake walk project along the shores of Lake Minnewaska. Lake Minnewaska is the 13th largest lake in the state. And Glenwood sits on its eastern shore, Starbuck on the other end. And so they have been making some of these uh, walks with nodes along each area. And then pavers are used in their construction. And that's kind of a fundraiser for memorializing, memorializing family, friends, anyone who wants to. So it sounds like preservation, education, yes. community building. We've got such a beautiful area to begin with, our town of Glenwood, little town right on the, on the shores of the lake. And, and so the area is just only enhanced by these efforts. And, and Glenwood and beyond, kind of the title in itself is not just for our area, but the county, the lake is, as well as our county and, and beyond in a temporal sense in that uh, looking to the future too, inviting more people to come and enjoy our community. The criteria for the award that you're receiving is that um, the organization is moving beyond current economic challenges with creative and proactive community and economic development innovations. Reflect on those words for a second, if you would, in the context of what you're doing in Glenwood. Well, this playground equipment project, uh, say a few years ago, that was approximately a $45,000 project, and it's a real contemporary design, not only aesthetically but functionally uh, for children's activities and, and recreation. And, and that was done with a lot of in-kind labor as well. Families, oxygenarians and eight-year-olds and everyone in between helped uh, lend the resources financially as well as, as, as a community project in erecting it and landscaping and such like that. So it is, it's, it's definitely intergenerational. It's also, it's also uh, a welcoming thing and, and uh, improving our, our community's image. Great. Well, Randy, great work. Uh, congratulations on the award. Thanks for speaking with us today. Thank you. Doctor. Good to see you. Yep. Have a good day. Appreciate it.